Hi my beauties and welcome back to my channel. I personally feel that silk is a fabric which is capable of being draped in multiple distinct ways because it just hugs your body really very beautifully. It's really very thin to be pleated and to be worn on. Today's video is all about me trying to guide you guys over how you can go ahead and drape a silk sari distinctively looking like this as a gown. I hope you all will enjoy today's video and if you people do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to share this video with all your friends to make sure that they even can enjoy. Now uh, going ahead towards uh, the basic sari drape that is we normally do and that's just you know draping the sari all around your body starting from the right hand corner and bringing it all around and into an anti-clockwise direction and bringing it towards the right and then just going ahead and inserting everything into the petticoat now going ahead and finding out the fancy end of the sari i'm just going to grab the edge of the sari of the fancy end of the sari and i'm going to create a triangle out of it as you guys can see me doing here it's just pleating the edge if that makes any sort of a sense for you and then i'm going to go ahead and grab a safety pin and pin pin the edges from my blouse now this would keep it away and this is only the uh, you know pallu section uh, required this much of fabric is more than enough you don't need any other fabric so you just keep go ahead and drag the entire fa fabric from your uh, underneath from your right hand towards your left hand and then you want to go ahead and grab the entire uh, loop of sari and pleat it and for doing that it took me a little bit of a while because uh, the, uh, the uh, shoulder pallu part is coming in my way so I'm just gonna go ahead and place it over my neck as if it's a dupatta for a while it's just for a while it's gonna change in a moment so I'm just gonna go ahead and pleat the entire loop now this would have use uh, from uh, sorry I'm sorry I'm out of words this would definitely have a little bit more pleats than what you would usually make in your sari so keep patience and keep on drawing like if your sari usually has seven pleats this is going to have at least at least 10 to 12 pleats for you so just go ahead and pleat the entire sari like that only and leave it loosely normally i would ask you to go ahead and uh, tighten it up but this time i'm telling you to leave it loosely from the right as well as from the left hand side now going to go ahead and arrange all the pleats in an ascending order just to make sure that the uh, first pleat is the far most and the last pleat is the innermost and why i am doing this because it would just help you frame the sari pretty much more well the pleats will be towards the inside of the sari which will make sure that uh, it's looking flary while you're walking but even while looking flary it's not looking awkward or it's not giving that feel of being a you know uh, a sari it would give a feel of being a gown because the pleats would be hidden underneath the first pleat so just go ahead and arrange them in a descending order now taking the loop of fabric that was available on the right hand side just insert it inside uh, the petticoat and then going working towards uh, the left hand side i'm just going to go ahead and grab the other end of the pallu and create the same triangle or pleat it as i did with the first thing and you want to make sure that it comes from underneath your left shoulder that's uh, what i did at the moment as you guys can observe me doing right here and i've made sure that the entire loop of the fabric or the extra fabric is underneath that plate which i created for bringing uh, my sari upwards as you have seen in the thing and then i've just pinned uh, both the edges in place and i'm just making sure that the uh, fabric is coming out clearly and it's looking very pretty and nice and i've just accentuated my waist and the entire outlook with the help of a vest belt you can definitely go ahead and wear an, a western wear sort of a vest belt as well i hope you all have today enjoyed today's video as well it's just a distinct way of making yourself look a little bit more westernized with the help of your sari hope you all have enjoyed see you guys in my next video till then stay blessed bye